Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so uh, it's great to know matrices for a lot of reasons, but one good reason is if you want to know how to solve a system of n equations and n unknowns. In this particular video, I'm just going to focus on uh, a system of two equations and two unknowns, and uh, that system of equations is right here. Um, and I'm going to show you how to solve this using matrices. And uh, you can extend the idea that I discuss here uh, so that you can solve a system of three equations and three unknowns in a very similar fashion and four equations and four unknowns and yada yada. Now, since both of these equations represent a line, we know that our solutions of x equals 12 and y equals negative 1 represent the point at which these two lines. We should know that we can represent this system of equations uh, in matrix form as follows. First, we'll have a matrix of coefficients, so 1, uh, negative 2, 1, and 3 here. And these are the coefficients of x's, 1 and 1, and then the y's, negative 2 and 3. And then we'll have a matrix of variables, um, which is like x and y. And we say that this equals uh, the matrix of the constants on the right side, so uh, 14 and 9. And if you do matrix multiplication uh, on this equation, on this matrix equation right here, you should be able to return to these two equations. So just from knowing matrix multiplication, you should understand that this here is identical to that. Now, um, the reason why we like this equation here is it's kind of of the form. It's of the form AX equals B. Uh, it's just that uh, A is this whole matrix. So the coefficient matrix is A, right? Like, and so I'm using capital A this time, but it's like the uh, constant A here in this simpler linear equation. And then we have the variable um, matrix right here. And let's say that the variable matrix is like um, bold X. So this is a darkened X. And I'm letting the darkened X represent our variable matrix. And in fact, you know, if I so chose, I could have written this equation uh, with X1 minus 2X2, uh, equals 14 and x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 9 without involving a y at all. So it makes sense that if I so chose, I can, you know, uh, have this uh, variable uh, matrix be x1 and x2, therefore just refer to it as like a dark x or a bald x. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now on the right side, because I don't just have a constant here, like it would just be like a constant like 10 if I have an equation like 5x equals 10. Uh, but here I have like two constants, so again, just to show that it's not like one constant, I'll use a bald B. Yeah, but you should reckon that solving this equation is like solving this matrix equation, right? Like uh, in this particular case, in this equation, what we do is like multiply by A inverse uh, on the left and right. And of course, this time, since, you know, this is just a simple linear equation, A inverse is just the mu multiplicative inverse of A, and A inverse times A is going to be 1, right? The multiplicative identity. So I'll have 1 times X on the left side, and therefore simply X. And then on the right side, on the right side, I'll have uh, B times A inverse. And uh, A inverse, the multiplicative of A, is just 1 over A. So we'll have B divided by A, and that should be the answer. So a simple example here is like, if I had like 5x equals 10, here I'm saying the constant a is 5, and uh, the constant b is 10, I multiply by 5 inverse, or 5 to the negative 1 on both sides, and um, on the left side I get uh, basically 5 divided by 5, so I just get x, and then on the right side I get 10 divided by 5, so 10 divided by 5, and so... Um, I have that x equals 2. Yeah? Okay, cool. So I have x equals 2. Um, all right. And so it's like solving this, but this time with uh, matrices. So if we kind of like mimic what we did here, then what we should do is like multiply by A inverse right here. Uh, multiply by A inverse. But there's an extra caution now. Um, first of all, we have A times x equals B. And we chose to multiply this left side of the equation by A inverse. And what the extra caution is this time is we must multiply this B on the left by A inverse. Um, so if we did B times A inverse, that'd be incorrect. And that's because unlike regular multiplication, uh, matrix multiplication is not commutative, right? We know that in general for two matrices A and B, A times B uh, 
is not necessarily equal to B times A. And in fact, in some cases, A times B might be well-defined and B times A might not even make sense. Uh, you can think about that on your own, but yeah, you should know that. Okay, cool. So that's why we have to be careful that if we multiply by A inverse on the left here, that we multiply by A inverse on the left on the right side of the equation. Now, um, A inverse times A for a two by two is going to be the uh, identity for a two by two. So these guys are gonna turn into the identity matrix for a two by two. And by the way, the identity matrix for a two by two, in case you don't know, is like, you know, what acts like the number one in regular multiplication, which is like any matrix times this matrix um, is going to just give that other matrix back, right? Like this is the identity acts like one and it's one zero zero one, right? So A inverse times A is gonna turn into I. And so I'll have I for the two by two times X. And notice that this bold X is this whole matrix and it's uh, two by one. So two by two times two by one makes sense. And it's gonna turn out to be a two by one. And that two by one, it will turn out to be is uh, what we get when we multiply A inverse and B. And of course, you know, without actually doing the multiplication of A inverse and B, we can't comment more on, on it, uh, other than saying it's gonna be a two by one. And so on the left, I have a two by one matrix, which is X and Y. And on the right, I'll have a two by one matrix that's the product of A inverse and B. And so then, you know, we could, by looking at corresponding entries, figure out what X is and then what Y is. And we're gonna do that exactly. Uh, so uh, I forgot to write uh, A inverse, but I'll do that in a sec. Let me uh, draw my uh, bold B first. So A inverse X. So um, obviously, like on the left side, uh, the identity times X is just going to give me X. So the solution um, X, and again, this bold X means X and Y, right? So X is going to equal just A inverse B. And as I said, we've already solved this system usual, uh, using uh, traditional methods, and we've found that x is 12 and y is uh, negative 1. So uh, we'll go from here. So a inverse times b, bold b. Okay, we already have our uh, bold b matrix. That's this guy. So we just need to figure out what a inverse is. Now, for a 2 by 2 matrix, and let me try to do this quickly. So for a 2 by 2 matrix, uh, let's say some generic matrix uh, called uh, B. Let's say that this matrix is called B and it has entries uh, A, B, C, and D. We know that uh, B inverse is going to equal one over the determinant of B, uh, and this is true for any two by two matrix B, uh, times the adjoint matrix of B. And uh, if B has these entries, uh, the adjoint matrix of B uh, denoted ADJB, and I have videos on this, so you could uh, watch more detailed videos uh, to get more detailed e explanations. But the adjoint matrix is simply uh, swapping the place of D and A, so D comes here and A goes there, and then negating B and C, so uh, negative uh, B here and then negative C here. So we know how to make the adjoint and we know how to find the determinant. So if we take one, of the de one over the determinant, multiply it to the adjoint, we'll be able to find the inverse of any two by two and therefore we can find the inverse of this matrix A. All right, cool. So we're saying that based on what we just said, that A inverse best equal this. Uh, and that is, well, one over the determinant. So what's the determinant here? One times three. Uh, which is three minus uh, one times uh, negative two. So that's negative two. So that's three minus a negative two. So that's five. So we'll have one divided by five times, times what? Um, I guess we like make it a bit bigger. So times uh, the adjoint of A, right? So the adjoint of A is going to be, in this particular case, swapping uh, the place of three and one. So three comes here and then one comes here and then negating these guys. So we have a positive two and a negative one. So this in fact is going to equal one over one over five times this adjoint is going to equal A inverse. And so I guess we can write it much smaller now, but A inverse then is going to be uh, this matrix here. Um, I should perhaps use a ruler, but 
Ah, maybe that. That blunder might be like a cause for me to redo this. I hate blunders. I already had one like right there. Okay, whatever, we'll live. Okay, so this is three fifth, right? And then this is two fifth. And then this is negative one fifth. And then we have one fifth here. So this here is a inverse. And as we said, x, the solution, um, which is like x and y, is going to equal a inverse times b. So uh, let's see, is that true? Well, x is going to equal a inverse, which is that guy. And so let's see. Uh, and I will use a ruler this time. I guess I should have done this in black because uh, I wrote a inverse right here in black, but that's whatever, right? Okay, and I'll write the entries in black if um, it makes a difference to you for paying attention to my color coding. Three fifth, um, two fifth, uh, negative one fifth, and then one fifth. So uh, a inverse and then times b, and that should be x. And so b is. Uh, this matrix here um, with entries 14 and 9. So let's do this. Okay, and um, let's see. Uh, all we have left to do is like matrix multiplication and then we're done, right? So this is a times right here and then it's uh, 14 and 9. And as we said, we've got a 2 by 2 and a 2 by 1. And so we're going to get a 2 by 1. And that two by one is going to be x and y, right? Okay, and um, so I guess one more uh, drawing. And to start, let's let's make it wider because there's a little bit of arithmetic we got to do, but it's going to be a column matrix, right? One entry there and one entry there. But uh, we might have to like uh, do a little bit of simplifying to get there. So let's, uh, yeah, make it wider than um, it would appear we need to. Okay, anyway, um, here it is. Um, so first, uh, this first entry is going to be 3 fifth times 14 plus 2 fifth times 9, right? Matrix multiplication. So uh, 3 fifth times 14 is 42 fifth. So 42 fifth plus, and then um, 2 fifth times 9 is 18 fifth. So 18 fifth. All right, and then uh, negative 1 fifth times 14. So that's negative 14 fifth uh, plus 1 fifth times 9. So that's 9 fifth is going to be the second entry. So our final answer, and I'll just like write curvy brackets. Um, but yeah, this matrix here is uh, x and y here, right? Because this uh, darkened x was uh, a column matrix of x and y to start, right? Okay. So x and y here is going to be, what is 42 fifth plus 18 fifth? That's 60 fifth, which is 12. And then negative 14 fifth plus nine fifth is negative five fifth, which is negative one, as desired, 12 and negative one. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, like I said, what I did here, you could mimic for like a three by three, a four by four, and so on. So this is a pretty powerful tool. Um, all right, take care.